We're 97.5 KDEE. They play the best music on the planet to me. Milton Sloan is the manager at Sentinel Fire in Sacramento, and he's always jamming to KDEE 97.5 FM to help him get through the busy work week. It makes his life easier for me, I guess, you know? It just makes things more or less complicated. You know, you can turn on some good music and just relax. KDEE 97.5 FM is based in Sacramento, and it's one of two black-owned radio stations in California. The other station is KJLH 102.3 FM in Los Angeles. Sloan says he discovered KDEE about six years ago while searching for grown folks' music one day in the car. You know, at young age, you like the hip-hop stuff still. And you get a little older, you like want to just mellow and smooth it out a little bit. It just started um, going through the radio stations, you know, suddenly you, just, you hear something different, right? And you say, wait a minute, that sounds like my kind of music. I heard the personalities on there, and uh, I just got hooked ever since. We play our music for our folks, black and brown. Tristan Mays is one of the radio personalities on air Wednesdays through Fridays for the Midday Cafe show. He's been working at the station since 2003. Mays was hired to help the station serve the public not long after it launched in 2002 in Orangeville. Um, they didn't have anyone on air, so okay, I'll help out on air too. Then we had to put in a broadcast system, okay, um, I'll help out there and then next thing you know I'm here full time. Um, and it's been a labor of love. The California Black Chamber of Commerce Foundation owns and operates 97.5 FM. The late Aubrey Stone, who founded the chamber in 1998, led the nonprofit in launching the station with the mission in the call letters. KDEE, -E, dedicated to economic empowerment for people of color. That's the purpose to kind of cover all bases when it comes to your health, your education, um, where the opportunities are, buying a house. Those things are not talked about on the radio in our community. As a black man, we feel like we don't really get our voices heard. Sloan says he usually calls the station at least 10 times a week to connect with DJs or participate in talk shows. It gives you that opportunity to say, I want to be heard, and I've heard and heard, and now everybody in Sacramento can hear me. Let me get these phones to see what's happening. 97.5, what's happening, man? The phone calls make a difference. The interactive, the, the connective tissue that comes with talking with people on the phone and allowing themselves to hear themselves sometimes is something that's rare, but it's real. KDEE -E is still thriving despite being in an era of podcasts, online music streaming, and most notably, the COVID-19 pandemic. We survived it by being true to the game. Now you talk about the digital divide. You talk about what's going on with the pandemic. Those are the things that are important to people. Everything now is digital. There's no CDs in here. <laughs> There's no record player. We have a website. People need to listen online. We have that component in place. You're inside the traffic jam in 97.5 KDEE. We are Sacramento's number one community radio station. Black radio is gone. We're trying to bring it back to where it belongs in our communities, playing our music, talking about the things that matter to us. I think it's more than music. It does bring, connect people together. People were looking for something to escape to get to or something to get them away from all the stuff going on in the world. KDEEFM.org. We just want to see everybody eating good, living good, and chilling.